I've had builders and homeowners alike call me in alarm. Hey, my beams are cracking. They're checking. Is this safe? Short answer is safe as milk. Beams have checked forever. They've been through the grading school and it doesn't hurt the integrity of the beam. Now there are some things that I do want to show you here. So this is what a check is, check or crack. And if you look close here, it comes clear to the heart. Now, why does it come clear to the heart? You notice it's only in one spot. If you understand that along the growth rings, wood shrinks about double what it does perpendicular to the growth rings. And in the center, there isn't much growth ring shrinkage to happen. So the check is really tiny. As you move out, the, this band is shrinking and somewhere that, that it needs to get shorter. So pop, it pops open and you have your check. Okay, so that's the Y logs and timbers check. If you have box heart timbers, you simply square off the ends and you still have your heart here. And then you're gonna have the checks and there's some pros and cons that go along with that. Favored wood is to get the beam off the center. So you have two beams out of this. First you take your, get a bigger log, you take your wood stretcher and stretch it out to where you can get a big timber off the side. And you leave about an inch or two in the middle where you cut away from the heart. And you get two big beams or four or what, however, however, what size beams you're looking at. And there, that's called free of heart timber. And there's some advantages with that as well. So why would somebody choose to use boxed heart? The problems are the check. In fact, one particular lady called me up and she had a post that was, that was opening up. It was a box heart, was it a 12 by 12 or a 10 by 10? I don't remember, a fairly short post. But for some reason, one of them really went wild, just really opened up big. And I could put my whole hand in the thing, just even not, not even hardly rubbing my knuckles on getting them scraped. And her concern was that her grandchild was over there shoving Cheerios, like a little slot machine, foop, 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 letting them roll down the check and having fun with it. Well, kind of fun to watch, but it could be a problem especially if you give something that's not dry, like a Cheerio. So if you want to avoid a slot machine with Cheerios, I would suggest you do free of heart timbers because they don't have the problem of shrinking in a circle in a band and popping open. Free of heart timbers will just have small checks that go through it and they really never open up that big because there's the, the, the growth rings are, are not going in a circle, so therefore it just kind of shrinks. And depending on the orientation of the growth beam, it may become a little bit oblong where it's not quite square, where the two corners shrink towards each other. But that's, that's nature and that's what wood does. So free of hard timbers will give you that. Well, two negatives is free of hard timbers, okay? One is that if you say I've got a eight by 20 beam and I'm looking down the side of it here, it's gonna behave the, the tall way, but the short way where it's the weakest as far as holding its stability, you've got heartwood on one side and you've got big growth rings on the other. And because of that, one out of 10 beams, maybe you'll see, we'll see a kind of a bow through it, where it just kind of goes in a curve like that, which generally isn't too hard to subdue and move around and get straight. The building kind of locks it in and you got your trusses or your beams above it, whatever it is, to kind of hold it in place. So that, that's not too big of a thing. And the other negative to free of heart is it can be unobtainium and cost a lot. There is a timber frame school out east that loves Doug fir. Most timber framers are gonna have good things to say about Doug fir. It is strong, relatively light. The color is nice. It can be easily stained. The color can stain different. It's available in long sizes and big sizes and structurally it's just a dynamo. They like Doug Fur. Their message is that unless you are the ultra wealthy, forget free of hard timbers. Box hard timbers are much more affordable. 
because of the mill size and trees available and that sort of thing. That's where they're coming from. We as a company don't experience that because we invested in a big mill, one smaller mill to cut fast and accurate, a big mill to break them down. It's got a 54 inch throat, 52 and 44 feet long maybe is what we can cut. So that is thumbs up for avoiding the unobtainium problem. With box tarp, you're gonna have more availability. Now we have had people where they want more checks. They want that rustic look. And so that is, and the corkscrewing and the, the whole thing. Oh, I should mention with corkscrewing. So you have a check. Why does a beam or a post corkscrew where it starts to rotate? And that happens if you have right here, this, this check here is relatively straight up and down. But if you've seen a longer beam with sloped grain, the check will go at an angle and then it'll kind of hop over and go at an angle again and then hop over and go at an angle. That's called slope grain with, with boxed heart. And that, every time that, that check opens up, because it's at a slope, it's like taking a ratchet on one end of the beam. It's just twisting it every time that pop opens. It just, no, just another degree off of, off of true straight. And that's what corkscrewing is all about. That would be a reason to avoid box art as well, but it is generally affordable. And if you want that rustic look, bad people do it. I've even had one client that really loved the look of knots. And so rather than hiding a knot to the wall, I was finding the knots, the beams and posts with the most knots and putting those in prominent positions in the timber frame structure. And the clear faces, turn to the wall. So a little bit opposite of what we normally do. But again, it's all about the look and feel and the flavor and the style that you're going for, right? The wood is warm, wood is safe, and it's great to bring into our homes and timber framing is a wonderful vehicle to do that. I don't want to get on my high horse and say that because I cut free of hard timbers, because I have a big mill, that I can vanquish or dominate nature. No, very bad thing to do. We still have big free of art timbers. It's got a mind of their own. They twist, they move, not as much. We're kind of working with nature, but we're still very respectful because, and it's great. And so I celebrate that, if you want to call it strong-mindedness, that's nature. So I celebrate that rather than boo-hoo about it. That's part of the beauty, the character. It's called character. It's called a nice vibe. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's good stuff. It's safe. Bring it into your home. If there's a place to be worried, and this is with any structure, with any material, it's about tension loading. So I would be concerned about the joints. If you see a joint opening up really big, that is cause for concern. What's going on? Because the tension load is what's going to cause a structure to collapse, fail, and all that. And with timber framing, one thing that's kind of cool about it is we use the green wood and then the dry pegs. And so the peg goes in and the wood, as it dries, it just shrinks tighter and tighter around that peg. And it's almost like nature's glue. So kind of cool. So in conclusion, Checking is safe. If you like that for your style, go for it. If you prefer not to have the big checks and avoid the corkscrewing to the highest degree, then you wanna do free of heart. Either way, it's good, warm vibe to bring into your home. Smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.